I see Highlanders lifting a trophy. All right. Just sit down. Sit down. Now, I want you to understand me here. I'm not a soccer supporter. I don't even know much things about soccer. Here, what I'm talking about is spiritual. Hallelujah. How many are happy dynamos? Hallelujah. Caps United, hallelujah. Makepe Kepe. No, this is spiritual. Hallelujah. It's not about soccer. Because there is something God showed me. He said, no. There is a, when we were praying, there is a demon that is, demons that are there in the stadium. And Two days ago, I saw a vision of a trophy. That one, God said, this one, it's definite. I have given them. So I described it to blessing. And I started telling him, there is a trophy which I'm seeing. It is emerald at the bottom, black emerald. And it's mixed with gold. Then that is the bottom. It's like a stand. Then it it is a slim at the bottom. There is, it's a slim, uh, it's, a, it's like a cup, but it's slim at the bottom. And it has handles, two handles. And it has a, a, a top cuff. And there were ribbons of Zimbabwe. Please, which is this trophy? So he said, Papa, is, let me go on the internet. So he downloaded the Castle Lager one the league, and the Mbada diamonds. When I saw it, exactly as I described the Mbada diamonds one, that one, that's what I saw. About the league, I told them. I was talking with the Islanders coach, he phoned me, he whatsapped me, we spoke yesterday, he's in the UK, right now he was chatting with me, uh, some confidential things which I cannot tell you. But I spoke to him and I told him, your people must not put juju anywhere. That is the condition. But I saw them lifting that trophy because God is saying, I want to give them money <laughs> to reward them of what happened. So he was saying, is it possible, men of God, that you can pray for us, for us because I want double. I said, if God gives us grace, I will pray. But what I see is there is need of faith. But the Mbada one, this one, I saw it exactly. That one, even the team that is playing with them, even if you go up the mountain, down the valley, to any Nanga traditional healer, it's for Islanders, I'm telling you. And I even told them the score line. And how they are going to score. The goals that are there. I saw them. And one that was disputed. But God is going to make them to win. In the mighty name of Jesus. Now do you know what he's doing? He's now making them now. To start also to WhatsApp the men of God. with the head of those two, Japula Mube. Good exchange, Mambari. Bit of space here, Milton Mube for Highlanders. Chance! What a save! Chris Kangwa dispatches it. It's a good one. Chances here, Mambari. He miscues. It stays in. Jabulamube 
takes the free kick, looking for Mambari, but getting there first is Kumbalani Banda. Lovely exchange again, Mambari, Peter Moore! Highlanders double their advantage, and it's Peter Moyo with the goal. Kangwa. Mambari, Masimba Mambari! Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Papa, we just want to appreciate you. We just want to appreciate you. Uh, just to give a testimony about what God has done for our lives, for Highlanders. Uh, it has not been an easy road. To be where we are today. It has not been easy for us to be where we are today. I'm here. I've only obeyed the word from God to see where the team is today. There may be people who are going to criticize us even today that we are here. There are people who are going to criticize us because of what we are doing. But if you obey the word of God, God will always bless you. God will always bless you. The Bible says, if you accept me in open, I'll bless you in open. Amen. I'm here to testify. One time I met a pastor, Pastor AD, Pastor Ernest in town. He said, how are you, man of God? I looked at them. I, I thought they were going to greet me. And how are you, God? <laughs> I said, I'm all right, how are you? They say, we come from Eagle Life. We are just telling you that our papa gave a prophecy about your team. That has been, I think, a long time. Before we even started, I think, the Mbata Cup. And that time, I think, we were just eliminated from the Bank ABC trophy. And these people were saying, I think the prophet gave a prophecy that Highland is going to win a trophy. Now they are out of the Bank ABC. People are still waiting. I said, let them wait. Because what the Papa said is just a confirmation of what God is about to do. Amen. Amen. To be where we are, the prophet phoned me when I was in the UK. I was communicating with him. It was quite an honor to receive a call from, from Papa. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. And when we were talking, I'm here to, 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 to give a testimony. He asked me what I wanted. Uh, and I always want good things from God. Uh, we were praying for the league, we were praying for, for the Mbada Cup. But I can confess today, Papa said the Mbada is yours, whether the devil likes it or not. The Mbada, the Mbada is yours. As for the league, I don't know what God is saying. I cannot lie because God has not spoken to me. But we'll keep on praying. But for the Mbada, but for the Mbada. We thank God. But I saw them lifting that trophy because God is saying, I want to give them money <laughs> to reward them of what happened. So he was saying, is it possible, men of God, that you can pray for us, for us, because I want double. I said, if God gives us grace, I will pray. But what I see is there is need of faith. But the Mbada one, this one, I saw it exactly. That one, even the team that is playing with them, even if you go up the mountain, down the valley, to any Nanga traditional healer, it's for Islanders, I'm telling you. Uh, before I came here, I was praying. Uh, I don't know if God really wants to use me. I'm still praying. 
that according to what I'm saying, God really wants to take me to another level. Uh, I, when I was praying in Zambia, uh, I had the opportunity to receive three jobs where they wanted me to go. And Highlanders was the least paid on those jobs. But when we were praying, the, the prophets that I were praying with, they said, this is where God wants you to go. Where I'm sending you, you have so many spiritual battles. You must be strong. There is something that God wants to do with Highlanders. There is something that God wants to do in the city of Blawayo. There is something that God wants to do in your life. Amen. We kept on praying. We kept on praying. Then they said, where we are sending you? We want a club that is going to pay you there. And then I said, hey, with the history of Highlanders in the past, there have been times when the salary you don't see it. They say, no, this is where God wants you to be. But as I stand here, I will just ask Papa and the church. I know there are so many churches, there are so many pastors. As I speak today, there are so many people that are praying for us. It has not been easy to come in this place and begin to do things which have not been done. Uh, there are so many challenges. Even as I talk right now, sometimes I weep. Some people may see me, yes, with glory, smiling, but when I'm alone, I cry. I ask my God, why did you send me here? But I don't want to be like Jonah. <clears throat> Amen. This is where God said I should be. This is where the blessing will come from. Amen. Even in front of my team, they can confess, they can tell you, I always say, this is where God wants me to be. Amen. Papa. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. There are so many people that are praying for us. We appreciate you. Thank you so much for your prayers. Thank you so much for your support. Before we played How Mine, Papa came to encourage us. And I was amazed. That is how God is moving this team. Some people may not understand it, but that is how God is moving this team. We thank God. Papa, we appreciate you. We thank you for this church. Uh, uh, my prayer is let this church, the flock of this church, continue to grow, Baba. Amen. We thank God. Thank you. We are, I don't know what to say on behalf of the team. Uh, as we leave, we'll be here, we'll receive the weight, and probably present our trophy to Jesus. We have dedicated the trophy to Jesus. Amen. But I know maybe tomorrow or someday there will be negative comments in the press. But they will be there to strengthen us. They will be there to strengthen us. Amen. Papa, I don't know what to say. We say, in Zambia we say, I'm mouthless. I don't have ways to say. I just want to appreciate you. Amen. Thank you so much. I would like to call upon the gallant fighters, the children of God, Highlanders Football Club. What we are doing is not only about Highlanders. It's about what Jesus wants to do in Zimbabwean football. Amen. Papa.
Kamalenko si Malibo, we Malibo, Malibo, we Malibo, we Malibo, we Kamalenko, Kamalenko si Malibo, we Malibo, 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 we Malibo, we Kamalenko, Kamalenko. Il a start to bless this people. So I want you to know that it's not about soccer. It's about Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 And I told them, your people must not put juju anywhere. That is the condition. But I saw them lifting that trophy because God is saying, I want to give them money. To reward them of what happened. So he was saying, is it possible, men of God, that you can pray for us? For us, because I want double. I said, if God gives us grace, I will pray. But what I see is there is need of faith. But the one, this one, I saw it exactly. That one, even the team... That is playing with them. Even if you go up the mountain, down the valley, to any Nanga traditional healer, it's for Islanders. I'm telling you.